Mayor Espano, Shanae Williams, I understand that this is your show, Shanae. The City Hall is uh, helping right. to evolve, but this is your thing. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So, um, it started really last year um, just to gather women together uh, to fight for equality and just to spread the word about the discrimination overall in the workplace, you know, in our daily lives, women are still not being represented the way that they should be. And so this is just a time to gather together as a community and support women in, in all fronts. Um, so I'm just really happy that, you know, even though it's very last minute, um, people are still coming out and we're going to, this is the first march that we're doing here in Yonkers. And, you know, if you want to join the group in New York City at the end, you can totally do that. But it's a good time to just come out and support women and stand up for, you know, just equal rights all around. Now, Shanae, this is a national problem, but how, right. do, you, how do you think this affects Yonkers? It's because I see Yonkers as a city that uh, has a lot to teach to other, other cities. Right. Do you think it affects Yonkers to a certain level? Absolutely. It affects us on a, on a very local level because there are still, you know, there are still women that are not necessarily being hired in higher positions that they're qualified for, you know, if a guy and a girl goes up for a job and they they have all the qualifications, chances are that girl is not going to get the position. And that's something that we really have to, to think about. Why is that, you know? So I think it, it does happen on a local level as well. There's still, you know, a lot that we have to push forward for and this is a start. Mayor, your support is, uh, is here with them, but uh, what do you have to say about this? Well, you know, I, I, much of what you've seen, especially in terms of discrimination against women in, in, in Yonkers and in, in New York and in the country, uh, is institutional. Uh, it's, it's exactly what the councilwoman said. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's two equal individuals going for a job. One more than likely will get that job, and that'll happen to be the male. Uh, and that's just a, and that's a, been a practice that for far too long has been just simply been acceptable. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, women on average make less than men when they do exactly the same job uh, and, and it's the same thing. It seems to be acceptable. Well, it's not acceptable anymore because uh, people are, are rising up and, and, and these, this march today is again is to raise awareness, to allow people to know that uh, the practice of discrimination of any form in this country against any individual for any reason is unacceptable and we're going to be here united in that, in that effort. Now does this happen in your administration, Mayor? Why? Well, yeah, listen, uh, I would obviously say no, um, but it's, uh, as you, I mean, I'm sure you know that I was the, uh, the mayor who first appointed a, um, uh, the first uh, woman deputy mayor and I had uh, uh, the woman deputy mayor was helping run in the day-to-day -day operations of the city but I hired her because she was the best fit for the job I didn't hire her because she was a woman I hired her because she um, had the best qualifications and uh, very often though uh, especially in this in City Hall uh, she would not have not have gotten that shot because of her gender even though she was the most qualified and so, we, yeah, we, um, that's something that we, um, we look at each and every single day. And, um, you know, it's uh, something that I personally don't find acceptable. Well, we're going to help things change from the inside out. And uh, employment and work and wages should be done based on equality, able exactly. to do the job and not gender basis, correct? Exactly. Absolutely. That's the idea. That's and we want to raise awareness and teach our young ones that it doesn't matter what your gender is. It doesn't matter what your your sexuality is it doesn't matter you know none of these categories really matter as long as you work hard you will be rewarded thank you both mayor anything that i forgot to say uh, that you know you know what you know uh, a little funny kind of a fun footnote but it's true you know one of 16 children i have eight sisters <laughs> and eight brothers so my parents taught us equality from the very first day back at home and uh and my sisters will tell you that um that they are very much equal uh in our home Thank you. Thank you. I love show. Yeah. I wonder if we can hold it. Get your signs up. Tiana. Signs up. Nice today, sister. I didn't know we were doing Starbucks.
Charlie Knight, the, the director or CEO of the uh, YWCA. YWCA in language, uh -huh. always involved in activities like this, women empowerment. Can you tell us, Charlie, a little bit about uh, your sport, how this came about? Uh, well, actually, it, 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 Janae, uh, who was recently appointed to the council, contacted us and asked if we would be interested in sponsoring uh, this Women on March with her. And of course, this is this is our mission. This is what we do: empowerment of women. Now there is another march going on in New York City today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are we going there from here? Um, I won't be able to go there, but some some of our, our employees will be going there from here. Now, to Charlie, York City. do you feel that in our city, in Yonkers, we still have the problem of discrimination, women making less lesser wages for the same jobs in our city? Well, I have to believe that. It's, it, it, to some degree, yes, in Yonkers, because this is true all over the nation, uh, there is that glass ceiling, and there is still lots of work to do in Yonkers. However, we do get a lot of support in Yonkers, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Thank you, Charlie. Yep. Nice to see you, Corazon. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. So, Corazon, we're here today in support of uh, this March Women Empowerment. How do you feel about this issue in Yonkers in regards to gender? Do you feel like in the city of Yonkers, women and men are treated equally and fairly? So in Yonkers, I do feel that, um, you know, at the moment we are being treated equally. But what I do see is that, you know, we have to get more women in positions of power. So I'm glad that there's now another woman on the city council. That's great news. Um, but I would like to continue to see more women in government, more women in positions of, you know, executives, um, positions of uh, uh, just leadership power. Because I think women bring a great um, aspect to, you know, and a diversity to the table. And it's important to have our voices heard, to have our perspective. But overall, I do feel that Yonkers is a very inclusive city. If they've been making strides and making sure that we are treated equally, and I'm just happy to be supporting um, this movement nationally, and we're just doing it ourselves by doing it here in Yonkers, so it's great. Now, are you going to the New York City? There is a big march in New York City. After there is, there is, actually, but I am not going to go, so I'm going to, you know, do my part by doing this march here in Yonkers and then continuing to fight for women um, by doing doing that as an elected official. So making sure that we put laws forth that protect women, that empower women, and that really show, you know, people in Yonkers that we care about women here in our city. Now, Corazon, I received a few emails asking about this, you know, about today's march. And a lot of people did really not know about it until... Yes, so um, I wasn't the um, sponsor of it, but I know that it was something that was um, sort of planned a little bit last minute. Um, the idea came about, sometimes you become inspired, and the idea came about. So there wasn't a lot of time to really promote it, but I know that this is something they probably wanted to do every year. And I think moving forward, they're going to make sure to do more for promotion. So we're just hoping to get a, you know, a turnout today, and we'll start there and continue to grow every year. That's it. Thank you, Tosa. Thank I you. <laughs> wonderful day, um, especially for this Women's March. I'm so excited and so happy that we're able to pull together as a community to come out and support women. You know, every one of us here is impacted by a woman, at least one, in our lives. Is that right? So whether you are a female or not, or whether you have siblings, a, a parent, a cousin, an aunt, what have you, we all love women and we should really stand up and support women because it's we're at a critical time in our lives. In 2017, we still have to fight for equal rights. What's that about? Right? right? So I'm like really excited to just spread the word and just really 
let our young ones know that we have to start as a community and that's how we're going to get things done. So thank you for coming out. I'm going to keep it short. I don't know if uh, Councilman Pineda, the mayor and uh, County Legislative Chris Johnson want to say a couple words and then we'll get it going. All right. Yeah. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I um, did not look at the forecast today, and I said, you know, I'm ready for this morning. <laughs> get warm, bundle up. And then I came out to my house, and I realized God is... So it's just amazing, and I'm so happy for also the people that are marching in NYC, because they also means they also have good weather. And we're just here to um, really stand up for women's rights, to stand up for one another, and really to show that, you know, equal rights are... It's what they are, equal rights. We are here because like Martin Luther King said, an injustice um, uh, anywhere is, I'm sorry, yes, injustice anywhere, a threat to justice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Right. Something like that, yeah. it's not exactly, <laughs> but I know the message. But the point is, is that we are living that message right now by showing that if we do not protect women's rights, then what is next? We have to protect all rights to show that really we are gonna move forward together as a community. And I'm just so happy to be here, to be in this city where we have a mayor who appoints women, more women to be on the council. And I'm just so happy that now there are two women on the Yonkers City Council. It's a beautiful day in Yonkers and in this city, and we will march on. All right, all right. Oh, Mike Sure. Good morning, everybody. I couldn't be happy to be here. You know, I, not, not just being mayor of this city and actually having the opportunity to, uh, and one of the questions I was asked with a reporter was, you know, what have we done here in City Hall? And I said, you know, we, well, we appointed uh, the first woman deputy mayor uh, to help run the city of Yonkers. And, and Sue ran Yonkers alongside with me for about six years. I said, but the, but the important message here was, it wasn't that I just appointed Sue Gary. What I pointed was the person who was best for the job, right? And and in years past, in our building, in this wonderful building of City Hall, in years past, the person who was best for the job very often didn't get the job because of her gender. And that's that type of institutional type of, 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 of racism, if you will, or discrimination that's happened, that, that has happened, that we fight each and every single day. And so, uh, as one of 16, where my parents made sure that they had eight boys and eight girls, um, I was born into a, a very, very, you know, um, justice-driven community where my eight <laughs> sisters justice. made sure they told me that they were equal and, uh, and they proved it to me each and every single day. As a matter of fact, I think Eight sisters is more really like twelve sisters, <laughs> eight brothers. Um, but they'll, they'll they would tell you that um, this is a this is a great march for us because it's about raising awareness about uh, the institutional issues that still plague women here in this wonderful city, but in the state and in this country. It should not be, but it is, and it's something that frankly has been accepted. There's an accepted practice that if you, um, if you have two people, of in, two individuals who are exactly equal, more than likely the man will get the job. And it's an acceptable practice that if there are two people who are exactly equal, that the man will get more money. And that's something that, uh, that this march will, will change because it's about raising awareness, making people just, even when you think about it, it doesn't make sense. This is the year two, uh, 2018, it doesn't make sense. The things that we've seen, the things that you are so confronted with. And, uh, and just so you know, I know that myself, and, uh, Chris Johnson and, and Mike Cater, and, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna watch right here alongside you because we know that it's time for change. and change begins right here. So with that, I'm going to ask uh, our brand new council president who stopped over uh, to, to watch with us today. Uh, he's doing a wonderful job and, uh, and he's, he's great for Yonkers and, uh, and a good friend, uh, 
Mike Keaton. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good job, Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. And my colleagues on the council and uh, Chris Johnson at the county level, thanks for being here. While they were talking, I'm looking at some of the signs. Women's rights, equality, LBGTQ, seniors, immigrants, refugees. It is unfortunate, 2018, in the city, the greatest country on earth, the fourth largest city, that we have to have these types of conversations. It's common sense, respect for women. We are a country of immigrants. Our rights, the way this country was founded and was shaped is under attack. And how we do that is at the grassroots level, at the local level. We have a great mayor that supports these initiatives. We have a, excuse me, a diversified council that supports these initiatives. And that's how we're gonna bring change. We cannot let the fabric of what this country was started on be changed and evolve. We are all immigrants. We believe in these fundamental rights which make United States a great country, which makes the city of Yonkers an amazing place to work, live, and raise a family. So make no mistake, we are under attack. Our democratic values, our ideology are under attack, but we're not gonna stand for that because not just us here as elected leaders, you at the grassroots level, be it if you're a non-for-profit, be it if you're a community organizer, be it if you deal with constituents, we have to send a message. Not here, not now, not in our city. If we stand together, we will send that message out. And as I tell people all around, the city of Yonkers, we're gonna be strong if we remain unified. I commend everyone for putting this together and I will proudly march with my office to send that message out. Thank you so much. Thank you, Council President. Of course, we have our good friend who left us. Now he's up there in the ivory <laughs> tower. <up> there. <laughs> right, please. I always get around. I always get He's a good, he's a good friend. Great councilman, I'm going to be even a better county legislator, Chris Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're still my mayor, though. <laughs> and I want to give, um, I want everybody to give a round of applause to the two women on the council, my former colleague, Corazon Pineda Isaac, and my successor on the council, Shanae yeah. Warrior. And our host. <laughs> and our host, absolutely. The one who had the idea to make sure that Yonkers participated today. That Yonkers stood up for women. That Yonkers said that women's rights are human rights with the YWCA. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I am well aware that when I show up now, people don't ask about me. They say, where's Ty? Ty's my <laughs> wife. They're like, where is she, Chris? You know, we don't care about you. She's prettier than you. Um, but you guys haven't seen me in heels. And you won't. <laughs> um, so she's down in New York City participating with them. And she said, Chris, you need to stay in Yonkers and make sure that Yonkers is doing what New York City is doing. And she'll make sure that New York City is doing what Yonkers is doing. And that's making sure that we stand up and we tell everyone that women's rights are human rights. That women are equal to men. That men are equal to women. And that no one should be treated uh, better because of their gender. I tell you this, this is the last thing I'm going to say because I want to make sure that uh, you know, the women really take uh, the lead here and show what, what, women, what women leadership looks like. Um, but I will say that I know what that leadership looks like because the caucus that I now serve in, um, in White Plains, there are 12 Democrats. It is a majority of women. There are seven out of 12 women that I serve with. And so we know that the, the county of Westchester will be served well because of the leadership that not just is provided by men, but is truly provided by female, by women leadership in this county. So thank you for all the work that you continue to do. Um, know that you have a partner in all the men that serve, um, but we know that when it's time to listen, that we know who to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Just want to thank everybody for showing up today. And this is our mission. Thank you, Shanae, for uh, inviting us. This was put together at the last minute, but thankful that a lot of people did show up. As I said, this is our mission, elimination of racism and the empowerment of women. So this organization in Yonkers will be here to make sure 
we keep you guys working on our mission. Again, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. And thank you to the YWCA for all the board members that are here. Thank you, you know, to all my colleagues and Mr. Mayor and Council President. Um, and most of all, thank you to everyone here today. Give yourselves a round of applause because you know what this means to stand up for what is right. And I am so proud that you guys came out this morning. Now let's go down there and march in the streets of Yonkers and let people know that women should be empowered. Let's do this. Women's rights are human rights. 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 Women's rights are human rights.